Hello, everybody. It's JSTOR. How you doing? How you doing? I'm back to read another book. So good at reading. So good at reading. Now, today, today's JSTOR reads is for a very special person. His name is Sebis. I was told that Sebis wasn't feeling so well. So, I thought to myself, what could I do to make Sebis feel a little better? First, I thought I'd knock this book down. <laughs> and then after that, I thought, let's read him a book. So here's this one is for you, Sebis. All right. If Olivia is in the room, tell her to go away. Tell her to go away. All right, Olivia, you can stay. But you got to be quiet because it's an important book reading time. <laughs> so Sarah went to the store to find a book, and I said, Sarah, get something with like ninjas and pirates and robots and explosions. Boom! Like that. Sarah said they didn't have any of those books. So she got this one from Dr. Seuss. It's called Green Eggs and Ham. Kind of sounds delicious when you think about it. But I'm here to warn you. I'm here to warn you. Okay, this is a fiction book. Okay, this is not real life. This is not real science here. Okay, if you find hams and eggs that are all green in real life, don't eat them. Do not eat them. There is something wrong with that ham and eggs. Do not eat real green eggs and ham. You're allowed to eat it if you're in the book. But we're not in the book. We're in real life, so you can't eat it. All right, this is important. No. Okay, this is Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. That's pretty rad. He's a doctor. That means he probably knows lots of stuff. Okay, and then up here it says, I could read it all by myself. It has some veal like, like Waldo Cat or something. It says beginner books. It's like, I can read advanced books, you know. You know, you know, because I'm a good reader. But sometimes, you know, it's good to go back to basics. Go back to the beginning, you know. So we're going to read this book today, and I hope you like it. And if you do like it, you know, just say hi. Say hi, Chester. I like the book. Thank you. That'd be nice. All right. Let's get going. Okay, now sometimes when you open up a book, you know, and hide the cover, you got some, like, secret stuff here. But there's nothing. There's just, like, a white page. And then this guy who's, like, holding up the green eggs and ham with, like, this, like, hand on a stick. It's like, I don't even know really why he's using that. He could just like hold it with his hands, I guess. But, you know, I guess it's a little red, so we'll let him do that. Okay. Now this is the title page. The title page says the title again. A Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. By Dr. Seuss. Alright, then you got a whole bunch of other stuff over here which tells you about copyrights and stuff like that, but you don't need to worry about that. That ain't important. That ain't important. That's some real stuff. That's legal stuff. You know, are you a lawyer? If you're a lawyer, then you got to read that. But you're not a lawyer. Because you're rad. So don't read that. V. Alright. The story begins. He's holding a sign that says, I am Sam. He's Sam, I guess. And this is a dog or something. I don't know what Sam is. It doesn't look like a person. It's, it's way too fuzzy. People's like, you know, persons usually aren't so fuzzy. So I don't know what kind of guy he is. But then anyway, let's go. Let's go. He's whooshing around the corner. I want to see where he goes. Okay. So he whooshed it, right? He whooshed right around that corner and right by this guy right here. You know, on the hat. And he's sitting on the on his chair. He's reading his paper. And Sam is like going with his sign. And the guy reading his paper... You know, he's just like, what the heck is that? So who whooshed by me? You are annoying because I'm trying to read my paper. You know, it's important when you're reading papers not to have people whoosh by you. It is, it is. Okay. So now he whooshed around that corner and now he's whooshing back with like a different sign. He says, Sam I am. So if the fourth sign said, I am saying, this one says, Sam I am. And now he's on the cake. You know, really weird. He's got all these pets that are willing to whoosh him around quarters. 
And the guy reading his paper, he's all like, all right, you know, whatever you're saying. Uh, congratulations, I guess. And he seems pretty happy about it, you know. You know, I'm Chester. I'm happy about that, so I guess that makes sense. Are you happy about being Sabbies? Or whoever you are? Because it might not be Sabbies watching. It could be like other people. Like maybe Muran or Aydin. Could be those people. Could be those people. Could be other people too. Are you happy with your name? You should be. And if you're not, you can change it. I fell down. Oh, so Sam whooshed out of the picture again. And now this guy, he needs a name. I don't think he gets a name in the book. So let's call him a name. Let's call him like Edward. His name's going to be Edward. You know, Ed for short or Eddie. You know. And it looks like the whooshing knocked the paper out of his hands. That's inconsiderate. Okay. When you're whooshing, try to stay far enough away from people reading newspapers. Okay. Don't whoosh the papers out of their hand. It's not nice. So Edward here says, That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Ooh, I wouldn't like him either. He's got the grumpy face too. You see that? Grumpy face. I don't know what kind of, what kind of animal he is. He looks sort of like a cross between a dog and a human. A dogman or something. But anyway, let's see what's going on here. He doesn't like him. I, tr I smell trouble a foot. Maybe a hand. Maybe two feet. Okay, now Sam I Am's back. He came back in when he heard you don't like him. So, you know, Sam comes in and he takes this like weird sort of like fishing gun thing and like shoots some stuff out with a hand at that word. And Sam I Am says, do you like green eggs and ham? And he springs out the green eggs and ham at him. He's like, uh, look at his head. It's all like squiggly. That's probably a squeakle of confusion. Somebody came around the corner and then sprung out some green eggs and ham at me. I'd be confused. I'd be like, what? What are you doing with green eggs and ham? That's weird. All right, so so here we go. We got, like, look at that. All the newspapers are all whooshed away. It's not good. It's not good. Very inconsiderate. Okay, so now Edward is talking to Sam I Am again. He goes, I do not like them, Sam I Am. I do not like Green eggs and ham, you know. But it seems like he's okay, you know. He's like, you whooshed the paper out of my hand, and then you offered me some, like, food. But I don't like that food. So I'm just going to say, you know, sorry, guy. Don't like the food, same I am. All right? Same I am's like, what the heck? I offered you this, like, green eggs and ham. Why aren't you taking it? And Edward's like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. So now Sam I am is saying, would you like them here, like right there, or there? Would you like them here or there? And he points with his like weird pointy things. And you could see Edward, he's not too happy about that. See this squiggle up here? That's like angry smoke. Angry smoke. He's like, dude, I just told you I didn't like it. It's not going to matter if I step one foot this way, okay? Or a few feet that way. If I don't like it, I don't like it. He's, he's he's losing his temper. I would too. I would too. Okay, so now Edward, he's walking away. He's like, look at this, he's got his butt here. <laughs> That's Edward butt right there. You see that? See that's a butt. <laughs> anyway, right, so Edward walking away. He's like, I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Sam I am's over here with the green eggs and ham on his head. And he's like, all right. I, you know, I think, I think, I think Edward, you know, he's, he's practicing very good restraint here. Something to learn. Something to learn. So now you hear, now, Edward's outside, you know. And now Sam I am is talking from the house. He says, would you like them? In a house? Who would you like them with a mouse? Well, it's a cute little mouse there. I like the mouse. And Sam I am seems pretty happy. And he's got the green eggs and ham. But but Edwards, he's tired. He's like, dude, dude, I just told you anywhere. 
All right. So that includes houses and mouses, okay? Man, 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 man. The plight of Edward. Oh, 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 so difficult, so difficult. Buck up, Edward. I'm sure this isn't going to last 97 freaking pages. You know, he's going to take the hint sooner or later, right? Being or anything. Okay, so now Edward, you know, he's trying to walk further away. You know, he's, he's not being non-confrontational. He's trying not to, not to get into an argument or a fight. He's just telling them. He says, I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them same I am. Mm. That's a pretty comprehensive statement of dislike. So let's move on, and I'm sure at this point in time, Sam I am is going to leave him alone, and instead of green eggs and ham, you know, Edward's going to go out for some nice frozen yogurt, you know, like the kind that you get to put the toppings on or something. Oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I like that. I like that. Duh! Sam I am springs out of a tree within this box here, and he says, would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Uh, okay, there's the fox. Um, I don't know why the fox is in on this. This is not nice. And, you know, Edward's like, Oh, dude. Did I do oh, come on. So see over there? That's where the box is. See, Edward's walking away. He's over a hill now. He's over a hill now. I'm going to put this hill between me and Sam because he's not getting the point. This heel will help prove my point. And as he's walking away, he says, Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Same I am. No, no means no, Sam I am. So now you see here on the car, apparently, Sam I Am and the fox and the mouse hit Edward with their car. This is, uh, that's uncouth. That's what that is. That's a mean thing to do. Don't hit people with your car. All right? They don't want to eat your snacks. You know, just say, oh, all right. That's okay. You don't have to eat my snacks. Don't hit them with a the car. But after he hits him with a car, which is assault, Sam I Am says, Would you, could you, in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. And Edward is on the car, just being hit by Sam I Am, mind you. And he says, I would not, could not, in a car. Okay, technically, I think he could if he wanted to, but he doesn't want to. And he doesn't want to leave even the crack of the door open because he knows that if he does that, he ain't going to be lived alone by Sam. Sam's kind of a jerk, Sam I Am. That's a weird name. And now Sam I Am, who's a very apparently safe driver, drives up a tree because that's what safe drivers do. They drive up trees, you know, with people under hoods. Not a very good driver at all, I think. He's the, Sam says, you may like them. You'll see. You may like them in a tree. I don't, you know, if I'm not going to like it in my house, I'm not going to like it in a tree. All right. There's not anything that makes, nothing tastes better in a tree. Okay. That's a fact. That's a science fact. That's a robot science fact. That's how you know it's real. Okay. So now you see here, we're in the tree, in the car, and... And Edwards turned around and said, you know, raising his fist because he's angry. And I can see why, you know, because he's up on top of a tree being hit by a car. And he says, I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. All right. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there, I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, say my name. Take it.
take the freaking hint. Jork. Okay. So now after the safe driving that Sam, he is, he's decided to be a little bit safer because he wasn't very safe before. And then he drives off the tree onto a train. It's, it's safe. Oh. Sam says, a train, a train. A train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? That is dangerous. Do not do this at home. Okay, you're learning to drive. It'll probably be like a million years from now. It'll seem at least. Uh, don't drive from trees onto a train. That's a tip from Chester. Driving tip. Chester. It's a good tip too. Don't do it. Police do not like that. I know from experience. So here's Edward. And he's saying, not on a train. Not in a tree. Not in a car. Same. Let me be. I would not, could not. In a box, I would not, could not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. Or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and hams. I do not like them. Sam, I am. He's going to have to sit down. Okay, so so if you're riding on the hood of a car, don't stand up. Okay, another another car tip from Chester. You're welcome. All right. Oh, we're in the tunnel now. It's pretty rad. All right, here's Sam still got the freaking green eggs and ham, and Edward's like, dude, dude. I know there's some people on the train that are just like, Guys, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. There's important stuff going on. Okay, this is what Sam says. Sam says, Say! In the dark? Here in the dark! Would you? Could you? In the dark? And Edward says, I would not, could not, in the dark. Can't even freaking see it. Alright? So they're coming out of the tunnel now, you see. All right, and it's starting to rain. I'm going to tell you, food does not taste better soggy. It don't. All right. I've never had a ham. And then we're like, oh, let's just pour a whole bunch of water on it for no reason. So Sam says, would you, could you in the rain? And Edward, he's, he's starting to get really upset now, you can tell. And he goes, I would not, could not. In the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere, which includes all of the above, anywhere. All right, that includes houses, mouses, Foxes, trains, you know, the moon. The moon, it includes the moon too. Would you eat them on the moon? Would you eat them in a balloon? No, not even a moon balloon. Not even a moon balloon. So we're still in the train. We're going over this bridge, which is uh, does not look very stable. Hope they get over it okay. But Sam is saying, you do not like green eggs and ham? And Edward says, I do not like them, Sam I am. We might begin somewhere here. I think we might be finally breaking through the Sam I am. Let's see. See here, a goat sprawled out. It almost knocked him off the car and down the ravine into the canyon, which is extremely unsafe even for this extremely unsafe situation. And Sam I am says, could you, would you, with a goat? And Edward, quite logically, says, I would not, could not with a goat. Here's the thing. Goats smell like poop. Okay? Not like really like candy bars. And I did a candy bar almost anywhere. Okay? But if I have a choice to eat a candy bar with a goat or not with a goat, 
I am going to choose to eat the candy bar, not with a goat. Because goats smell like poop and I don't want to taste poop when I'm eating a candy bar. Same I am, or green thinning hams, or whatever. The point is, whoa, with a goat, this so vi. No one wants to eat anything with a goat. Not even a candy bar. I'm getting angrier than Edward, I think. Okay. So now, the train has going off of this ramp here, which all trains have. You know, onto a boat, apparently. Because that's what trains do. They just, just run off a track and they just go fling onto a boat. Because, you know, safety. Safety. So Sam I Am is up here still. He's going, would you, could you, on the boat? Oh, man. It's better than a goat. I guess. I like boats. Okay, now now we see here, uh, everything's crashed together. The boat looks like it's sinking. The car is floating away. You know, you got the mouse here, you got the goat, you got the, the fox, uh, you got the, the, the captain of the ship. That's pretty bad. The, 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 the people on the train right here. And then you got the train conductor who drives the train, the train driver right here. And you got Sam up here and you've got Edward. And nobody in the whole picture seems to be concerned that they have a massive car train boat pileup occurring right under believe them. Under underneath them. He's not good. Alright? This is a this is a tragedy right here. You see this on the moose. You know? Car runs in the train, runs in the boat, you know. Whole bunch of people, you know, whole bunch of people hurt. It's not good, all right? But everybody here is all like a nonchalant. They're all nonchalansky, you know? They're all like, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, you know, I, I, I can understand Edward because he is so upset right now. He's not thinking of anything else. And I'll tell you how I know, because he says this. I would not, could not, on a boat, I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on the train. Not in the dark. Not in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. It's all in capital letters. That's how you know. He says it. Anywhere. No. There's a big sploosh here, too. Okay, so here, 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 Edward, he says, I do not like green eggs in him. All right. As he's splooshing into the ocean with everything else. And look at what's going on here. This is the captain. The captain's upside down. But he's just like, I'm still driving the boat. There's no the boat attached to your wheel, dude. These are the guys on the train. They're the passengers. They're just like, oh, whatever. This is what I bought my trip for. You know, first stop. You know, Albuquerque, second stop, the middle of the ocean, you know, whatever, whatever, we're gonna sink, it's fine. Train conductor, not doing nothing. Goat, goat swimming, goats can swim, so he's okay. But you can't swim when you're in a train. You gotta get outside the train to swim. So these guys have got to move, okay? This guy too. Mouses can swim, they're okay, foxes can. And same I am, and Edward probably can, I guess. This is... This is weird. Okay, so now, Sam and Edward under the water. And Edward is saying, I do not like them, Sam I am. But he probably doesn't say it like that. He probably says like, oh, I do not like them, Sam I am. Because he's under the water. He's like, blub, 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 blub. Blub, blub, blub. Instead of like normal talk. Because you can't talk when you're underwater. It just goes blub, blub, blub. Don't try to talk underwater. Okay, so now we're here. We got Edward, we got Sam, we got the fox, we got the captain, we got uh, passengers over here, we got the goat, we got the. There's a hat, somebody. It's probably the train conductor. No, that's the train conductor. I don't know who the hat guy is. And there's the mouse over there. And Sam says, 
You do not like them, so you say. Try them. Try them, and you may. Try them, and you may. I say. I'm like, all right, but you know, we could have gotten to this point before you threw me into the ocean. All right. Now here we are. Here's Edward. Edward's reaching out to the green eggs and ham, and he's saying, Sam. If you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. He's giving up. He's giving up, guys. He's giving up. Oh, he's so sad. I'm sorry, Edward. I tried to help. I tried to help, but I couldn't. I couldn't. He broke him. He broke him. He's so sad. Look at him. Just like, I don't want to eat these. Please just leave me alone. I was reading my paper. It was nice. I was learning stuff about news and science and stuff. And then you whooshed by me and you kicked all my papers. And then we went on this weird thing where you kept on asking me where the heck I want to, like, eat something in, in this most veal, ridiculous places ever, like in a train while I'm flying in the air into the ocean onto a boat. And it's not good. And with a goat, the goat smells like poop. And I don't like it. But he's done. He's just like, whatever, all right, I'll eat the dang thing. All right, it'll make you go away. Whew. All right, it looks like Edward's about to eat it. Right here, he's got it on the fork. Everybody's watching. So Sam, I am. All right, I should point out one more time. This is a work of fiction. It's make-believe. It's not real. If you see green eggs and green ham, do not try them no matter how big of a jerk somebody is being with you to try it. They have mold on it, and mold is not good. Mold is bad. You don't want to eat that. I don't want it on me. I don't eat nothing. You know, because I'm at the fiber. But I don't want mold on me. You shouldn't want mold in you. Ooh. Oh, this is going to taste bad. I can tell. Oh. All right. So he ate the green egg. Look at him. Oh, he looks kind of happy. Let's see what's going on here. Here's Sam I am. Look at Edward's like way bigger. They like made him like into a giant. Oh, that's pretty rad. And Edward says, Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. I would eat them in the boat. I would eat them with a goat. And it dot dot dot. So it keeps on going. So let's go. Now they're walking back. He says, and I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on the train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, you, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox. I will eat them in a house. I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here and there, and I will eat them anywhere. See, it's all capitals. You got to scream it. Anywhere. I think he's just telling him that. So he goes away. But I think he's selling it too much. I think he's going to come back and say, Oh, so you want some more? And he'll be like, No, God help me. No. No, please. Please, no, Sam, I am. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. If somebody's like saying, Okay, annoying you to do something, then you do it. You go like, Oh, that was okay. And then you go away. You go away real quick. Like this. Zoink! Zoink! And at the end, they're sitting here in front of this blurb, you know. And then Edward says the same. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam, I am. And then there's a blank page which says, the book is done. The book is done. We read the book. We read the book. We read the book. We're so much smarter now. We read the book. We read the book. Sam, I am is a jerk and I hate you. Sam, I am. Sam, I am. No one likes you. Sam, I am. Go, Edward. Team Edward. Team Edward. I like Edward. Go back to reading your paper, Edward. And they read. So it's pretty good. We read a book about this jerk who annoys people. And Edward, who finally figured out how to get the jerk to stop annoying him. It's a good lesson. The first lesson is, don't ever eat any eggs or ham that is green. That is a Chester lesson, not a book lesson. The second lesson is, do not drive cars onto trees or on boats, unless, unless it's a special kind of boat that takes cars. It's called a ferry. It's a good name. It's like, 
Staten Island Ferry. You could drive a car on there. That's fine. That's fine. That's a special car boat. That was not a car boat or a train boat or anything like that. Okay? So don't annoy people. If you think somebody likes it, just go like, hey, I got this thing. You should try it. And if they go, I don't want to try it, you know, just say, all right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, but I'll leave it over here if you want any. If you change your mind, you know I'm right here. All right? All right? I appreciate your personal space. And also, I appreciate your sensibilities. It's good. We, that's how we get along in the world. You don't pester somebody. That's called harassment. And you can go to jail for that. Same I am in modern times. We go to jail. And he deserved it. All right, guys. Sebis, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you enjoyed some good book readings now. You know, I hope everybody else, if anybody else is watching it, they're doing okay. You know, and we're all stuck at home right now because of, of the coronavirus. No one likes it. I don't like it. Sarah's getting all like grumpy. And Sarah can get real grumpy. So grumpy. Ooh. But at any rate, I miss you all. I'm ready to have to redo a book. I'll marry you another one. Who knows? Chase her out. Zoop.